This is another, uh, another project by the public arts program uh, from the city of El Paso. Uh, it was done through their 2% for the arts. Uh, when Levi's donated the building, they had to do a whole new construction. And 2% of that construction goes to a public arts project. A project like this means a lot uh, to, to the community. Uh, this project gave us an opportunity to tell a story about, about El Paso and especially about the Chamisal. Uh, later in the mural you have uh, a, the river running through, through the middle and that's why we have the, the mural that is called the Blurred Boundaries, the Treaty of uh, Guadalupe Hidalgo. That's the treaty that decides that the river, the Rio Grande, is the border between uh, Mexico and Texas. Well, the U.S. didn't really recognize uh, the new Mexican government that was taken up by Zapata and Villa. Uh, that's why we have a reference in the back of the Mexican Revolution. Later, uh, John F. Kennedy uh, starts the talks again about the Chamisal dispute. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, John F. Kennedy is murdered and Lyndon B. Johnson is the one that continues the talks and comes into an agreement with the then uh, Mexican president. And that's what we have the image of the two presidents shaking hands in front of the Chamisa plant and the monument in the middle of the bridge. And it's really important that our, that our youth especially know about the stories, you know, they know about their history. You know, we often tell them like, you don't have to be proud of where you're from, but do they really know where they're from? You know, we need to, we need to tell them. And I think having a project like this, having a mural right outside as, at the size as it is, you know, they're going to start asking questions and who is that person or why is this or why is that? And hopefully they're gaining that knowledge about, about their own community.